Well, some people kind of talk about it like there are fault lines. The youth versus traditional leaders and this business of time to take over. For me, there's one society. That society is made of people who come out of a certain tradition who are much older and there are young people who have new experiences living in a, a new world. And there really isn't a competition between the old who young people must push away or the young who old people think are just not prepared to do anything. It's one society. But what's really at stake in this conversation about, hey, you the older generation, you've made a mess of everything, just get out of the way, it's our turn. I was recently in the middle of one of these conversations and some people say that the youth are too pushy, they want to push people out of the way, they have not prepared themselves and they wonder why it is I keep saying that the young are smart and should be given the opportunity when they are not earning it the way you earned it at your age. I don't think it's a dichotomy, I don't think it is a fault line. I think that we can reap a huge demographic dividend with our smart youth bulge. It's going to take everybody working together. It's going to take young people recognizing that it's not an entitlement thing. Get out, it's our turn, take it. It's going to take older people recognizing that they have an obligation, a duty to better prepare the young people and creating institutional arrangements that will make them succeed and take over as quickly as possible because they have more energy. You live in a world that they better understand, things are changing, so you need to function in that new world that has changed so that progress can come to all of society. But the bottom line is that there should be a unity of purpose for society. One society, one goal, human progress. Young, old, whatever brings a certain strength. That strength can be made to work for all of us.